Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh, it's been so long. It's been a long time. I don't actually de eat this as much as I used to off camera. So it's been a while since I had seafood boil. So I'm very excited for today. Um, I am so sorry it took me so long to upload a regular video again. Just been so busy. So yeah, today I finally have one for you guys. So I have, as you can see, I'm hungry. <laughs> I have mussel, large shrimp, egg, and a snow crab. I actually have three snow crab, but I want to save some for Aiden because he loves snow crab. And he is in school now. I don't know if I told you guys about that. But yeah, he's in school. So he can't do mukbang with me as much. Oh, here I have a rice. Oh my God, it looks so good. But look, I don't want to make a mess of that. Lemon add a great finishing touch to it. So this eggs. Since we move here in the south, we actually have a chicken now. So yeah, we have seven hens. So this egg is actually from our chicken. We enjoy them very much. Chicken is not actually so much work as I thought it would be or stink or something like that. I think because we only have seven, so the smell is not there unless it rain. When it rain, you can smell them. This one is so good. Mm -hmm. So, how are you guys are doing? I hope everybody's doing well. But I gotta tell you. Even though I'm not as consistent as I used to. You gotta suck the head. Um, I am so thankful that you guys are still there. Me personally, I love the shrimp with the head on and it's not um, the vein because I feel like the flavor are all still on the shrimp. Because when it's the vein and the head is out, I feel like, especially if it's frozen, I feel like the, there's no more, no more flavor to it. I miss this very much. Let me show you how much onion is in here. So much onion and garlic. Mm. I'll get some butter here. Mm 
green lip mussel is my favorite. I like the black one, but they're good, but they're too small for me. I like to eat. Something I like to eat the green lip mussel <clears throat> because I feel like I'm eating something. This the black one is small. And I feel like whenever I buy the black one, I feel like I'm buying the shell, you know. But this green one is huge. So good. Just a little bit of. Oh. Mm. My God. It is so good. I was thinking into a potato with this, but I don't have time. To make it so and I know some of you like if I have rice with my seafood so that's what we had perfect bite muscle and rice mm. I have a couple in here that just have a head. Oh my gosh. That's because I saved the body for Aiden. To eat later when he comes home from school. I actually have to pick him up today after this. So just... Spicy. This I like. Mm -mm. So, it's going to be Halloween soon. What you guys going to do for Halloween? I really want to have a little Halloween party. You know, adult Halloween party. Also for kids. 
just to dress up dress up and everybody in their costumes it just sounds so fun but maybe next year this year time we don't really have time we got so much work at this time that I can't make it so yeah but since we have kids and Halloween's really for kids you know so we plan to go camping because the campground ac actually have a Halloween activities so they will go trick or treating there possibly the campers will decorate their campsite because last year that's what they did and then we go trick or treating to each campsite that's actually kind of fun and the campground itself also have a program for the kids so that should be fun so yeah that's what we're gonna do for halloween weekend and then that monday we'll go trick or treating sounds so fun i miss the the halloween trick or treating when we used to live in california i miss it there because they have a good place to go trick-or-treating and you come home with a bunch of candies so it, it's a lot more fun for the kids and also for adults once we get home <gasps> yeah and also there majority of the candy you get is actually chocolate so there's not much hard candy or gummies or whatever like whatever it's mostly chocolate and people there are generous with their chocolate you can come home and you can get those you know those king size pack you probably get I know three to five of them and then you got a full load of buckets of candies that's fun We went trick or treating last year in here too, but it's it's not the same. Snow crab. Oh, I miss the Dungeness crab in California. The food is really what I miss from there. So, this coming summer, we plan to go back there. It's going to be so fun. We'll literally just go there and do all the stuff that we used to do and that we love to do which mostly eating <laughs> like go visit revisiting the rest our favorite restaurants and just go there to eat that's our plan yeah just go there to eat revisiting old memories going old memory lane can be fun. I'm looking forward. I know the kids excited too. Well, they basically grew up there. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. 
go there, revisit all the restaurants that we like to eat. I can't wait. I really can't. I'm so excited about that. I think everyone is excited. <clears throat> Might visit few friends. But the main thing is eating. Because where we live now, there's there's some restaurant, but it's different, different from California. California has good restaurants, really good. I think because there's so many restaurants there that everybody has to excel at what they're doing in the sense of if you don't, you're gonna be out because there's way too much competition. <clears throat> <clears throat> 